Welcome to lecture two. In this lecture, we will examine fundamental properties of gases in order to define the ideal gas law. Then, we will analyze when it fails and how different models might do a better job in quantifying the properties of gases. One everyday application of these models is characterizing weather patterns. Our climate is determined by the pressure and temperature of gases in different regions. The information in this lecture will allow you to better understand how our climate works. This lecture will be broken down into two pieces. In the first part, we will examine the kinetic model of gases. This model is what defines the ideal gas law, which we will use throughout the course. We will also define Dalton's law, which is very important when dealing with mixtures of gases. The second part of the lecture will focus on real gases. When the interactions between gas molecules is important, the kinetic model no longer applies. The Van der Waal equation of state and the Virial equation of state takes additional intermolecular interactions into account in order to better predict the properties of gases. The learning objective for this lecture focuses on understanding these descriptions of gases but also analyzing when they fail. It's important to always understand the underlying principles of the model that you are applying so that you know when it is no longer appropriate to use. The first gas model we will examine is called the kinetic model of gases. It is a very simple yet powerful model. It is three assumptions. First, a gas consists of molecules in ceaseless random motion. Second, the size of molecules is negligible in the sense that their diameters are much smaller than the average distance traveled between collisions. And three, the molecules do not interact, except during collisions. This assumption that the molecules do not interact outside of collisions is, of course, not consistent with reality. We will come back to that later when we improve the model. For now, we will adhere to these three assumptions since what is derived from them is the ideal gas law. Gases that we apply the kinetic model to will be called ideal gases. For the majority of systems, it is very reliable, and we will be using it throughout the course. Since we are assuming that the molecules do not interact except during collisions, then there is no potential energy in the system. This means that all the energy is kinetic energy. Therefore, the faster the molecules move, the greater the total energy of the system. This means that knowing the velocity distribution of a sample of gas is very important if we want to know the total energy of the system. This was characterized by Maxwell, where the probability of finding a given gas molecule at a given speed, denoted as being between v and v plus dv, is determined by rho, where rho is equal to 4 pi times m over 2 pi rt raised to the power of 3 halves times v squared times the exponent of negative m v squared divided by 2rt, where capital M is the molar mass, r is the gas constant, and t is the temperature, and v is the velocity. As you can see in the figure, as the temperature increases, the distribution shifts so that it is more likely that a given gas molecule will be traveling at a higher speed. This is what we intuitively would expect, and this tells us that there is a relationship between the temperature of the gas and the total energy of the gas.